Immigration reform will come on stream as the government proposes legislation to establish a fairer granting of citizenship with thousands of non-national residents, many of whom were born in the Bahamas to foreign parents but failed to apply for Bahamian citizenship. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Senator the Honorable Carl Bethel, explained the proposal will establish clear guidelines to meet the country's international obligations. We have brought in a number of uh, protective measures really without the benefit of a legal framework in which to do so. So for example, um, unaccompanied minors are, are, are subjected to special consideration to make sure that they're not victims of sex trafficking or, or, or human trafficking. Um, women with their children are kept segregated from the general population if it goes, if they go into the detention center, they're kept in a separate housing. Um, so that there's no risk of any kind of uh, malpractice or ill-treatment uh, according to women and children. Now, non-nationals have until the age of 18 to apply for citizenship. The proposed legislation will add teeth so that those who fail to apply and are found to be illegally residing here without status can be deported. The law is silent on that at the moment, and so is the Constitution. What this law seeks to do is to provide a legal framework in which uh, the, the state has the flexibility. We can determine, based on a consideration, uh, whether or not the person should be uh, deported or whether or not some other arrangement should be made. But uh, right now the law is silent and it seeks merely to give greater clarity. I'm sure that human rights groups or um, vested interests uh, for example, you know, one of the groups being consulted is the Haitian Pastors Association. Uh, may have something to say about that period of six months. They may want it longer.